miss this? Well, guess what? We can still have that, and you know what? I'm not even gonna use cauliflower because everywhere we look, we see loaded cauliflower, loaded cauliflower, loaded cauliflower. Not today, folks, because it's a loaded radish day. You're gonna join me in the kitchen for this. Preheat that oven to 400 degrees and go ahead and wash those radishes. I purchased four bunches of radishes for this recipe. Of course, you know me by now. I am bougie on a bayou, so give me the Walmart, give me the Rouse's, and you can easily find this while searching through the produce section. Now, some of your stores, I've seen this at Kroger and Albertsons, where they sell the radishes already cleaned, where you don't have to spend all this time washing them but of course I encourage you wash them because <laughs> nasty um, so you just take these radishes off the vine or off the leaves you can see that I'm pulling them it is okay I personally do not use the leaves I know more bougie people not bougie on the bayou folks will make shakes and smoothies but i'd rather eat my calories than drink them and speaking of the nutrition in radishes y'all a cup of these slice only 3.9 grams of carbs 1.9 grams of fiber giving this a da -da -da -da, two net carb now shout out to my fabulous son christian who is filming this for me today woohoo i am going to now cut these radishes thin but first you remove the stems and i'm i don't really know how to describe the cut i like to say the word coin cut we want to cut it evenly so it cooks evenly you don't want a huge piece of radish you don't want a thin piece of radish it'll be funky and then everybody's going to complain and come and hate so jesus take the wheel and um yeah cut these bad boys thin i personally um enjoy like i said the coin cut i actually enjoy radishes more than cauliflower i developed this recipe many of you all know i work as a dietitian with clients because so many were like oh, i don't like cauliflower shelly do something and this is the recipe i have my sheep pan lined with non-stick aluminum foil that of course you can get at your favorite supermarket y'all know i'm the walmart girl but heck i'm the dollar tree girl but i'm just about to boycott them because they went from dollar to dollar and a quarter and that just does not make me happy and hey while you're watching this go ahead and like this video and write down your favorite supermarket to confuse the youtube algorithm let's talk about ingredients we have our two tablespoons of olive oil that i'm gonna mix with the radishes y'all see great value y'all know that brand but of course you can use your favorite if you fancy pants you go ahead boo -boo, and and use that i have salt and pepper i'm out of my redmond real salt that is actually my favorite spot and I know a ton of you all are gonna ask me, can I use this spice? Can I use that spice? My word of thumb is that, hey, use what doesn't have any sugar in it. You know, watch out for kind of artificial flavors that are in your spices. I did a whole video about ingredient reading, it's things that I go over with, with all of my patients. And um, y'all see how fancy I am. I'm just gonna take a spoon and mix this all up. I usually use a rubber spatula, but... <laughs> Yeah, the spoon sounds good to me. And we're gonna go ahead and lay these out on your pan and roast for a little bit of time, about 30 minutes. Ooh, look how pretty this is. Ooh, this is the part that I love and it involves cheese. Now, I'm not an over cheese person. When I see folks having a problem where they maybe hit a plateau with weight loss, I always say, hey, are you over cheesing it? Um, so we're gonna add a half a cup of our shredded cheddar cheese to this, return it back to the oven for about two to three minutes. And when that's done and that melted cheese looks ooey gooey, get into my mouth. This is where we can top it with some fun top now I have the green onion and some folks are gonna wanna do chopped onion and you can see I kinda had a little accident with the sour cream here, but honestly, gang, who cares? This dish is amazing. And of course, for the recipe, scroll down below. And for more low carb and laughter, let's lower those blood sugars, gang. Come on, let's do it together. Be sure to like and subscribe to my channel, gang. Much love to you all.